Welcome back, fellow YouTubers. Thanks for joining. The Cloud Tech Guy here, Joe Holbrook, looking forward to talking about the Google Cloud Platform and getting you certified, getting ready to get through that amazing exam, basically. So let's go ahead and get started. So quick notice before we get started, there's going to link down under the, the video where you can um, click the link and go directly to the GCP boot camp I have put together as well as practice exams that you could also take as well. So again, it's on Udemy.com. It's a small cost for that additional service. But again, um, just wanted to make a notice for those that are interested because I've been contacted quite a bit by, I want to say, seven or eight people. I wouldn't say quite a bit, but seven or eight, you know, people were sort of asking for the same thing. Um, there really isn't any study material other than the, the Cloud Architect class. And then anything you find on YouTube. So, and then never mind uh, areas that aren't even covered in the, the, the education content like DevOps or storage migration. So, uh, anyways, so let's talk about data services, why they're important. Now, I'm going to cover basically services uh, again around basically big uh, big query data store data proc etc so that's what we'll be talking about uh, as far as uh, storage and stuff we're gonna talk about that separately storage is a bigger area so I want to cover that again I'm trying to keep these modules under 15 minutes or so all right so data proc data proc is you're basically processing for your Apache application. So basically, if you are basically bringing in data, you're processing data using ETL, extraction or transa uh, translation or anything like that, this is what you're going to likely use. Data proc. Now, again, um, uh, data flow uh, talked about data flow ETL for example as well I just skipped over that sorry and then BigQuery uh, as well we'll talk about now BigQuery is essentially your relational data warehouse if you use SQL this is uh, again a fully managed service so data proc now data proc is another managed service you're going to typically use this with your typical Apache tool sets like Pig or Hive. On the exam, you might want to know what these are. I'm going to, again, cover that in the boot camp so that you do know. So again, data proc. This is for you to process data sets. Keep that in mind. Data flow. Now, data flow, this is data processing. This is focused around batch jobs or streaming data. So as far as um, data flow is concerned, you'll run into that with typically, um, you know, basically ETL. The goal of data flow, again, is a managed service. It is considered a unified programming model. So here's an example of a data flow, essentially. So you have your processing. Basically, you have your input. The P collection is going to be basically the, the streaming data or the, the data that is being processed, essentially. This is called a pipeline. And so the pipeline is the basically the workflow. You can think of a pipeline as sort of a workflow, basically the same thing. When we talk about data engineering, again, you don't need to be a data engineer for this part of the exam. Now, if you take the data engineer exam, that's a different story. It's much more complex than what you're going to see on this exam. And the areas that you want to know, uh, again, are more focused on why you want to specify a service over another. But just so you could figure out how things come together, you want to create a pipeline generally. 
the P collection is a collection of um, pipeline data, basically. Basically, um, this is what transforms the data. Bas basically, is sort of the way to look at it. You have an input, you have an output. So like a translator, almost, I like to compare it to. Sort of like brings in English and brings out Spanish, basically. Now, the pipeline is called a DAG. This is basically a pipeline that BigQuery is going to read. And so basically it comes in English and goes out Russian or whatever. That's sort of a way to look at it. BigQuery. So again, this is a petabyte scale relational data warehouse, essentially. Used for heavy duty analytics. Very fast, very efficient, low cost overall. So again, here's an idea about BigQuery. And then um, uh, lastly, I just skipped over that one, Data Lab. Now, Cloud Data Lab, this is a tool that could be used to help visualize data, basically. Data comes in with, uh, you know, these additional services like BigQuery or Dataproc. It's processed through, and basically, you got to visualize that data, sort of like a some other solutions out there like Tableau, for example, just uh, not as uh, wide open as that. Basically takes inputs from BigQuery, Compute Engine, or Cloud Storage. So with that said, uh, before you do take the test, my advice, go over to the console, go to dashboard, go down to where it says Big data. Know these services. Now, some of these I cover, some I cover just in the boot camp, like PubSub. Why do you want to use PubSub? BigQuery, same thing. You know, we just talked about that. Understand what BigQuery is. Endpoints, Deployment Manager. And then we have a big table over here, as well as Data Store. So again, um, hopefully you'll join us in another module or join the uh, boot camp where you'll get much more information and it'll be much more focused around passing the exam. There's, again, a fair number of practice questions to get you ready. So with that said, let's continue on.